Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a 50% mead at home. Let's get started. So you heard this 50% and you're like, let's party, let's do it. So I've already done a bit of legwork to get this going. I have here a Polish mead that I've made, which is sitting at about 19% ABV. This took a lot of time and effort because I had to essentially make a really strong trad and then step feed it to where it would get up to the highest ABV I could, pushing that yeast, about 19%. Could I have got that to 20 plus? Maybe so with a little bit more work, but I wanna take this to 50. Like 25% mead, that's, that's old news. 30%, 40, not good enough. I want a 50 percenter. So with a little bit of help um, from some other things, we're gonna make a 50% mead today. I got on a calculator to help me figure out how much extra stuff I was gonna need to achieve this. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. It's gonna be pretty simple if you think about it. So first of all, what does this taste like pre any extra help? My 19 percenter, I'm just gonna drink a little bit. It definitely has a little boozy taste to it. It's a pretty young mead. It's still pretty dang good. This is a 375 bottle, now like 370 milliliter bottle. We're gonna go ahead and start by doing this. This is still only 19%. I'm just gonna dump it in here. I'm not too worried about oxygen with this guy. He's pretty high proof, high ABV. Now using a calculator, I bought myself some high proof spirits. Here's how we're gonna get ourselves up to 50% pretty easily. We've got about this much mead in here. I plugged it into a calculator. I've got Everclear. This is 100%, excuse me, 95%. With this being 95% and this being 19%, we can blend them to get up to a 50% mark. So let's see how much we need. According to my calculator, we have a 10th of a gallon of mead here, or 375 milliliters. We need, based off this calculator, at a 95% proof, uh, or 95% alcohol spirit with my wine, which is 19%. We wanna reach 50%. We need 0 0.07 gallons of liquid or 265 milliliters. So starting here, this is of 95% uh, ABV. So this is what we have. Got a measuring cup here. We need 265. So let me measure this out, how much ever clear we need. take a stab and say that's about it. That's a little over 250. Here's our Everclear. We're gonna combine it with the mead. So the blend of these two will now reach 50%. So we weren't quite one to one, maybe just a little bit more mead than Everclear. I feel like I need to stir this up. All right, now before I get to try this beautiful concoction that I'm sure is gonna taste great, what does this taste like again? It's the 19 percenter. Tastes like honey, black currants, because that's what I used in this. It's time to try this beautiful 50% mead. Here we go. Oh, holy. Woo. It smells boozy. Okay. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> oh, my eyes are starting to water. That is a, a strong drink. That's a strong drink. I mean, it tastes exactly like it originally did. Um, I'm, I'm going back in, I'm so excited. Not a lot of original mead taste here. Oh, so we've got ourselves a 50% mead. It, is it mead? That's the real question here. We've almost half and halved what we did here. Is this mostly mead at this point? That's up for debate. Now here's the funny part about all of this. We got up to 50% with a 95% alcohol mead. I did some other calculations and I, I'm not gonna blend anymore, but Let's say I wanted to do this with a 60% spirit, something like a really strong whiskey. In order for me to do this, to get up to the same ABV, 
I would need my 375 milliliter of mead, which is what we started with, with 19%. And my 60% liquid or uh, ABV spirit, I would need 1,173 milliliters, which means we would need about in the ballpark of four and a half, yeah, about four and a half times the amount of liquid that we poured in from this Everclear into here. So our total volume would be about a little over a third of a gallon, maybe, yeah, closer to half. At that point, that's not gonna taste like mead at all. This doesn't taste like mead at all. And it's very, very silly. What I did here was I fortified this. Now, fortifying is a very valid strategy to use to up the ABV of your mead. Meaning that let's say you did get to 20%, 19%, you wanna kick it to 25. That makes sense. Or you wanna add enough to help or cause the yeast to stop. That makes sense. Unfortunately, some people have taken it too far and we've done silly things. And there's a very, I can say with absolute certainty, the more spirits you throw into your mead, the less it's gonna taste like mead, especially when you get to a certain point. So if you wanna fortify your stuff, that's totally fine. But I would caution you to say, let's say you get up to that 30% plus. More than likely, you're not really producing a mead at that point. You've created a cocktail and that's fine. If you wanna drink this, if uh, Everclear mead is your, your vibe, go for it. But I wouldn't say it's quite um, mead-esque. So if you haven't figured it out, this is April Fool's. There's no real way to make a 50% mead without fortifying. You can't use a yeast to even really get above 23, 24%. At some point you have to start fortifying. So my 50% mead, does not taste very good. Uh, and I don't think it tastes any better if I had used a 60% spirit, like a whiskey or something like that. Anyways, go try fortify some mead. Happy April Fool's Day. April Fool's, I don't know if it's happy, but regardless, I hope you've enjoyed the silly video. Let me know if you try to make a 50% mead and how it goes. Cause I've got a beautiful one right here. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. I don't wanna drink it.